Prince Harry faces huge challenges in the privacy case against the Daily Mail's publisher, but it could be very damaging if he brings the case home, expressed. Co.uk has been told. The Duke of Sussex is one of a number of high-profile celebrities taking legal action against Associated Newspapers Limited ANL, which has been accused of placing listening devices in people's homes and cars in major privacy breaches that allegedly occurred a number of years ago. Alongside Prince Harry, who now lives in the US with his wife Meghan Markle, are other big names such as Sir Elton John and the actress Elizabeth Hurley. According to Mark Stevens CBE, a media law expert from Howard Kennedy LLP, the claimants need to overcome huge challenges if they are to come out victorious. He told Express.co.uk, this is a very high stakes game for both sides. The challenge is that they are, the claims, to some extent historical. Some of these go back at least 30 years. We normally have a statute of limitations of six years, partly to do with certainty and that people's evidence and their memory of things after six years start to fade. Therefore the evidence they wish to rely on is outside of the limitation case. This is why Associated Newspapers say it is unfair and say it should be knocked out on limitation grounds. Lawyers for ANL, which is also the publisher of the Mail on Sunday and Mail Online, have firmly denied the allegations and argue that the stale claims have been brought in too late as they scrambled to have the cases thrown out. However, this is not the only challenge the Duke of Sussex and the other high-profile celebs face in coming out on Victorious. Mr. Stevens explained. There is evidence there, but the question for the judge will be is it fair to let Prince Harry have access to this information or is it now so old that they shouldn't have to do it? The third piece is that there are 70 journalists involved in the allegations of wrongdoing and they are entitled to their privacy, meaning they shouldn't have to be identified until the trial. This makes it industrial in scale and systemic. Phone hacking at the News of the World was among a small group of individuals. This is apparently a much larger group and this has the propensity, if they are able to bring it home, to be even more damaging than that. This comes more than a decade after the News of the World phone hacking scandal in 2011. The now defunct paper was accused of illegally accessing the voicemails of murdered schoolgirl Millie Dowler. Reporters from the Rupert Murdoch owned publication were alleged to have hacked the phones belonging to a number of celebrities too. The case eventually led to the paper's downfall and dealt a blow to Murdoch's media empire. But according to Stevens, the case against ANL is vastly different. He said, this case is different and more serious. In this case, you have got a group of individuals who aren't interested in the money. They are interested in what they perceive to be the truth. And therefore they cannot be bought off. Don't miss, six victims, including three children, named in Nashville shooting, latest. Man heard strange noises in attic, finds woman living up there, latest, daughter rips into her late dad in brutally honest obituary, latest, Harry is not interested in the money, it is about exposing wrongdoing in journalistic sourcing and holding ANL accountable for that. At the moment, they are only going against ANL. The contagion is possible if they can find any evidence elsewhere Prince Harry flew back to London from the US to appear in High Court on Tuesday. He said in a statement addressing ANL's attempt to block legal action that the whole country is doomed if the publisher evades justice. 
He added, I am bringing this claim because I love my country and I remain deeply concerned by the unchecked power, influence and criminality of Associated. The evidence I have seen shows that Associated's journalists are criminals with journalistic powers which should concern every single one of us. The British public deserve to know the full extent of this cover-up and I feel it is my duty to expose it.